first interest in aviation? I can't remember that far back. I, I probably was about four or five years old. And anything that would fly would just interest me. It's like some spirit was driving me. I don't understand it. Uh, but one of my first recollections was uh, during World War II. I was playing in a sandbox. And I'm probably about seven years old. And I heard a, a, a group of airplanes coming. And I looked at the sky and there I saw about 10 fighters. Then I heard another drone in the sky and I looked over the other way and there was 10 f fighters coming from the other direction. It looked like they were uh, F, uh, F3F helicats. And they met one another and they did a dog fight right over my house. And it was just fascinating. And uh, they went on for about three minutes, just like a swarm of bees. And as soon as it, quick as it started, it ended. They went in different directions. Now, that kind of made an uh, impression on me. Uh, I pretty well followed everything that happened during the uh, World War II, mm -hmm. as far as uh, you know, fighter pilots and bombers, anything that flew. Any airplane that came over the house, I would run out and identify it. I lived on a farm, so a lot of wide spaces I could watch it. Well, Right after the war, I was working in the backyard and I picked, my ears picked up the sound of a DC-3 coming. Just looked up, sure enough. It was coming straight at me at about 400 feet, right over the house, but it was towing something. And I looked, there was a flying wing. And for 15 years, I had no idea what that glider was behind that DC-3. And then years later, I realized it was, it was a uh, German uh, comet rocket fighter that they were towing it in the direction of uh, Dayton. So I went over to uh, Michigan City, Indiana, heading due east for Dayton. There was another impressionable thing that went on in my head. Feet. Well, at, when I was 10, 12, I was into model, air, model aviation built rubber band powered planes. Uh, I got myself a gasoline engine, started flying U-Control, and uh, enjoyed that for a number of years. Got into free flight. Then I discovered thermals, the wonderful world of soaring. Uh, you know, watching hawks, but I could never figure out what kept those hawks up there. Uh, finally, I, I read a model airplane magazine where it talked about uh, models getting into thermals and flying out of sight. So now that in, in totally intrigued me and I got into uh, model gliders. And I would tow them up in the back field and sure enough they would catch a thermal. And it was uh, extremely uh, motivating for me to, to go on and build bigger and bigger models. You know, pretty soon I came to the point where the model was so big I should figure, well, I could almost climb into it. Uh, radio control models hadn't come out at the time yet. So we, uh, I started dreaming about building man-carrying gliders. Like I didn't even know that man-carrying gliders existed. So I was going to build the first man-carrying glider. I went through another uh, model magazine a bit later and I came across uh, an advertisement to the Soaring Society of America. I fired off a letter to them right away and I got a little information package back and there really were men already flying gliders. So, so I really uh, wanted to do it. By the time I was in, almost out of high school and I uh, got in touch with a, uh, a fellow who was in the Soaring Society. And he lived 10, 12 miles away from me and uh, so we got together and he had some movies of gliders flying. Just stirred up my imagination even more. So there I started building drawing pictures and building parts to full-size gliders in my basement. Mm -hmm. I had to, see, I was probably uh, 14, 15. So uh, when I was about 15, uh, I heard there was a glider field over near Chicago. Okay, that's about two and a half hour drive. So I was gonna drive, I don't know how to get over there, but my dad said he'd drive me over there. So that was, very good. And so I got over there in the afternoon 
And I asked if I could get a glider ride. Said, yes, you can. So I got a glider ride in a glider ride in an old cinema World War II uh, training glider. And so that was another experience I chalked up behind me. Very exciting. We, uh, so I talked about that all week, going home and you know, at home and s school kids. So now more than ever I wanted to build my own glider.